so excited as always to have this young man joining us. He is a Hall of Famer. This guy coach, uh, the first black coach at Wake, at Wake Forest uh, University, and of course on the HBCU level, he's been known as one of the greatest coaches to ever touch the field. And we're so mm-hmm. happy to have him calling in. Uh, he's not he's not a stranger. He's been on the show many many times. Welcome back to the Sports Shop, Coach Bill Hayes. Good morning, Coach. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing great. Outstanding this morning, Coach. You sounding great too, Coach. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, man. How, how, how you how you been these days? Busy, busy <laughs> trying to support historically black colleges in their efforts to improve the athletic program and graduate students. And you know, I made a commitment a long time ago to be there for them and. And I continue to do that now in my senior years. <laughs> well, uh, the, the, that's see, awesome. Uh, the, uh, in your young years, my friend, because every time I see you, you look even younger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Coach, talk about the, your your annual event, the big time event you have on Friday down in uh, Winston. Well, we have the uh, Bill and Carlin Hayes Foundation. My wife and I made a commitment uh, years ago to do all we could to support historically black colleges and so on friday the uh, june the 28th at salem Glen golf and country club we're going to have our, uh, one of our biggest fundraisers and that's our annual golf tournament mm-hmm. uh, at salem Glen. and we just invite a lot of celebrities from all over i uh, got a call from coach steve wilsh yesterday oh from, wow uh, yeah san francisco 49ers yeah. defensive coordinator He's, he will be there to play golf with us, and so will the great Doug Williams, Super Bowl twenty two, will wow. be there with us. And the first black quarterback in the NFL, uh, James Shaq Harris, oh, will wow. be there. Oh, wow. Yeah, along with Phil Ford and uh, wow. Randolph Childress, just a host of, of oh, great awesome. athletes. Jerry, you remember the great Jerry Moore from Appalachian State? Oh, Nevada? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Jerry will be there playing golf with us, and so we hope to raise – a lot of money to support, give scholarships back to historically black colleges in the area. Wow, that is outstanding, Coach. We're talking with Coach Bill Hayes. He's talking about a charity golf tournament he has coming up. And, you know, Coach, you guys, you said that you 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 decided to continue to do this, continue to do this, to continue to give back um, and allow others to give back and support HBCUs. But, Coach, talk about the support. I mean, all you do is just say, I want to help. I want to give back to HBCUs. Talk about the outpouring and just the people that come out that want to support. You mentioned all the celebrities, but talk about it's not as difficult as a lot of people may think it is if you just let people know, you know, here's a, here's a good cause to get behind. That's right. And, you, but you know, you got to stay at it, though. That's the thing. And we've been at it now for about six months going in. And right now for the morning flight, we've got two flights. Uh, one flight starts at eight o'clock, and we got thirty teams in the morning flight already. Wow! You know, normally, <laughs> so the evening flights we, we we've got a full golf course. So we've got a full golf course. We've got a, players coming in from all over the place, and we've got a great silent auction. And a silent auction, we've got items from all the historically black black colleges: jerseys, footballs, shoes signed by the players, and uh, we we've got. Watches and rings, and my Rudy, Rudy artist who owns Influ- Influence Hair Care, yeah, is bringing a lot of women's products down. And uh, Speedy is bringing uh, all kinds of yard furniture down for the silent auction. We are a huge silent auction, so the silent auction will be a big part of it. And we're just excited about the whole experience in trying to support uh, historically black colleges and give kids scholarships. Mm, outstanding. That's awesome. We're talking to Coach Bill Hayes, and we're talking about the upcoming Bill and Carolyn Hayes Foundation Golf Tournament, which will be st- this weekend, this Friday. Um, as you talk about supporting the HBCUs, if you're not avail- not able to attend, is th- are there other ways that our listeners uh, can also contribute to this funding? Well, we, we've got a P.O. box. You can write a check. That's a good That's way. That's a good help way. Out. Yes, <laughs> sir. Coach, you something else, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 That's what I wanted to get out if, there. If you can't play golf, just send it to, I think our P.O. box is, one seven zero six six, and that's Winston Salem, North Carolina, two seven one six six. Just write us a check, and and we'll just and that check will go a long ways, in, in helping young folks. That's uh, awesome. Uh, that's good work. That's right. We talked to the to the great Bill Hayes and, and, and Coach. We always love to have you on on uh, and and again, 
you've always been really good. People come and support you and, and, yes. and your wife and what you're doing. I think it's important. Just just because I got you on, just talk about the landscape of, uh, I mean, the NIL coach, all, all kind of things are going on right now. How, how, how does that sit with you in terms of, you know, you, you, you've been a coach for a long, long, long time. Uh, how could you coach in this in this particular era, coach? Boy, it would be really tough. I'm glad I am glad I did my time early on because <laughs> now all of, all that we do to to develop to develop a student athlete, you yeah. know, all the, mm-hmm. the preparations and getting him from uh, being a mama's boy at home mm-hmm. until mm-hmm. a first competitor on the field. Mm-hmm. That's a long road, and mm-hmm. just imagine doing all that work to get him ready. And as soon as you got him ready, he packs up and leaves for a few more dollars down the road. Wow. I can't I can't even I can't even envision all the work that we put in developing student athletes. Mm. Uh, and then all of a sudden, as soon as you got him where you know he, he needs to be, then was, he, somebody offers him a few more dollars and he packs up and leaves it. Loyalty is gone in, mm. in this game. Mm. You know, that was a time, that was a time when the kids were loyal and coaches were loyal mm. to a school, to a program. And we depended on that loyalty and that, 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 uh, just give it all to, to your university, but mm. it, that's not the way it is now. It, you're loyal to a dollar. You're loyal to. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, loyal to a dollar. Yeah, really. You're loyal yeah. to whoever got the most money. Yeah, and man. and it's all about how much you can. How much can you give me? It's not about the team. It's about me. And 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 that that's not what we taught at all. Oh wow! Well, coach, there uh, it is. Very very well said. <laughs> Again, get out. Some, make sure we get out and support the coach. I, I'm trying to get down there and because and, and we got to be part of this, man. This is this mm-hmm. is going to be a, a big deal. So uh, I, I could try to get down and see you on, on Friday. But coach, thank you so much for bringing uh, your time and your talent and your treasure to to the HBCU community, man. We really appreciate what you do. And anytime you want to come back and talk, just talk X's and O's. We would love to have you back on the show. Well, I always say just keep fighting. We got to keep fighting. That's, That's right. right. We, we, we in the fight, get Coach. And just keep fighting. All right, All right so Coach. See you guys Friday. All right, take All care. Right. Thank we'll you. We'll see you. Take care. All right, this Coach Bill Hayes, who's a great interview, man. He he he, he knows a lot about what he's talking about. Let me tell you that right now. I won't be able to do it. <laughs> he's like, I did my time. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now, you know.